Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. Often the Dakar is contested on the roads, with the drivers battling it out for a place on the podium or a stage win. But sometimes when the race commissioners gather late at night, decisions are made which can change many, many things. And that's exactly what happened on Wednesday night when the jury decided to modify some of the race's times after a few of them were stranded due to an Argentinian policeman's mistake. This meant stage winner Franz Verhoeven was relieved of his win, as Mark Comer was credited with the best time, thus securing his third consecutive stage win in this edition. Meanwhile, pal Anders Ulevalster, second in the overall standings, saw Chaleco Lopez closing on him as the Chilean ended up with the same scratch time as the Norwegian. So stage 12 was really all about the fight for second place in the overall standings and the winner of the day was Lopez. With this third win on the Dakar this year, Chaleco grabbed second place in the leaderboard over a minute ahead of Ulevalster. Meanwhile, leader Cyril Depre had a quiet day, taking no risks and making sure he made it to San Rafael in one piece. He still leads the pack by over an hour and is set to collect a third crown in Buenos Aires. In the car category, it's a new story every day. On Wednesday, Carlos Sainz had seen his rival Nasser al Atiyah close in on him. 476 kilometers later on Thursday, the Spaniard looked set to claim a much-awaited first win on the Dakar. Last year, stage 12 had been fatal for Sainz, who went off the road. This time around, this stage might be the one which finally crowns the Volkswagen driver, who claimed his second stage win on this 2010 Dakar in San Rafael. Having left San Juan far behind Alatia, El Matador showed some great driving skills to finish ahead of the pack, overtaking Robbie Gordon in the process. Meanwhile, Alatia had started fairly slowly in the midst of Gerlain Chicherie and Orlando Terranova, who were the first ones off in the morning. After trailing four minutes adrift of signs, the Qatari raised the tempo in the final section of the stage to finish 52 seconds behind, leaving him five minutes and 20 seconds adrift in the overall standings. Tomorrow's stage leading to Santa Rosa promises an exciting final battle between the two drivers.